workflow to attain your vitals. We'd love to present our business plan prepared for the sideline concussion detection system. We'll cover the following contents in this presentation. Team Your Vitals consists of Peter, Daniel, Han, and Jason. Concussions are a serious concern for athletes worldwide. In contact sports such as hockey or football, Impacts to the head can result in a concussion, which can have serious long-term consequences if not diagnosed in a timely manner. It is estimated that about 5% of football players at the high school and collegiate levels will suffer from a concussion in any given season. However, the impacts that cause concussions may not always be noticed during high-intensity play. Additionally, it is estimated that only about 47% of high school age football players suffering from a concussion actually reported their injury. This implies that a significant portion of players are not accurately reporting their injuries, whether due to not realizing their symptoms or due to the desire to continue playing and thus downplaying their severity of their condition. Our product is a device using force-sensitive resistors combined with an inertial measurement unit to detect impacts to the head which may lead to concussions. Alerts generated by an onboard processor are sent to a connected smart device running an Android app via Wi-Fi. We consider our product's primary advantage when compared to our competitors to be a lower cost while maintaining a level of functionality similar to that of our competitors. Additionally, our product is designed to be simple and easy to use. These advantages allow us to target a wider range of players at both the amateur and professional levels. Compared to our potential competitors, our product has a lower cost, longer transmission range, and a more accessible design. Comparing prices, the products available for a lower price have a lower level of functionality, such as alerts that are not easily viewed during gameplay due to a low transmission range. Other competitors' products are more expensive, and some require an additional computer to process the alert data. Our current price is approximately equal to or lower than most of our competitors, and is expected to decrease as our product design matures and production becomes more efficient, thus solidifying our competitive advantage. During the early years of lunch, we'll focus on developing the local market. And we have two main customer segments. The first customer segment consists of traumatic brain injury or biomechanics research labs. For example, academies such as SFU or UBC and the government research facilities such as British Columbia Brain Injury Association. The second customer segment consists of hockey clubs and associations. There are approximately 130 minor hockey associations, plus junior and senior teams, including at least 60,000 hockey players and 4,500 referees, plus countless other individual players in Pacific Canada. Therefore, the overall market size of this segment is approximately 70,000 people. We will implement door-to-door -door sales among the two main consumer segments. We are approaching to research institutions and facilities. We will emphasize on the possibility and the benefits of having multiple head impact telemetry systems equipped during a real hockey game without an enormous cost. On the other hand, we will state how our product can help alert potential concussions while making immediate medical treatment possible and thus keep players from further cranial injuries. Also, Customers in these main segments are eligible for our product trial policy. Meanwhile, we'll launch an online store for individual customers, as well as to advertise our product. We expect that 5% of our target customers, or 3,500 people, will buy our product during the first year of launch, and with another 5% for the second year. The sales estimation should be later adjusted by market survey. We can treat a company, a department, as an organization. Every organization has a team leader. Obviously, CEO is the team leader in a company, and department manager is the team leader in their department. Whether the CEO or department manager, they have some common characteristics as a team leader. There are three things they can bring to the table. First, vision. Leaders do vision. They see the future and the present. They observe things and images appear in their minds. Things that are not, but should be and could be, if all the right things came together. Sometimes, 
the vision will determine the direction of the company. Second, ideas. Every great leader brings compelling ideas to the table. They are not just great vision guys; they are also what if guys. They can ask the question, "What if?" and expose a great idea hiding right there, in the potential of the vision. Leaders deal in ideas, not petty power maneuvers or personality conflicts. Third, energy. Great leaders are happy and passionate. The passion can often be misunderstood as anger, and sometimes when their vision and idea are not moving forward at the pace they hoped, leader can become frustrated. The energy can go sideways and become counterproductive. Good or bad, a leader brings energy into every organization. If you make sure the energy is aligned and moving down the field toward the goal, it's an effectual thing, something great to behold. We have six departments in our company. The human resource is responsible for hiring new colleges and providing a steady stream of talent input for the company. Administration is responsible for assisting the CEO and company operations. Responsibility of the R&D department is product research and optimization. Also, they provide technical support. The marketing department is responsible for market research and sales plan. The finance department is responsible for managing company funds and customizing the financial plan. The support team is responsible for dealing the problems from the customers and answer the questions. If there's a problem, it's technical. The support team can transfer the customer's need and problems to the R&D department. Of other costs, 165,000 per device, which includes the cost of materials and the labor costs. Our fixed cost is $17,000 per year, which includes the app development costs and other overhead costs. The sales price we decided on is $200 per device, which is a 20% markup of our current variable cost. Once we mature the design, the cost of material would go down due to better selection of parts. While keeping the sales price at $200 would mean more profit later on. Keeping the price low also attracts more customers early on. Using the break-even analysis formula, we found that we will break even after selling 486 devices. You can see the same result on the left side here that shows revenue and cost versus devices sold. The contribution table. Shows the contribution of the team members. Thank you for watching.